Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Today I'm going to be talking about gun control. Now this is a hot topic, I guess. It's just everywhere. And I thought I would do a podcast on it. I will say I haven't done much research right in this era. I think it was about 2017. Where was that? Um... Somebody shot like, uh, like a bunch of rounds. It was like um, Las Vegas. And I was curious about um, a semi-automatic and using a bump stock. It, it, so it's about 2017. I did a little bit of a deep dive and looked into the issue. But now it's more just me, you know, talking about my feelings on the matter and some things that are out there. And my personal view on this, so it might be quick, it might be, uh, you know, but let's get into it. First off, when I was younger, it's in one of my podcasts about who is Joseph F. Ulsus. I do talk about an, uh, a thing that happened to me when I was younger. I was about 18 or 19 in a room at my friend's he went and got his uh stepfather's gun and ultimately shot himself in front of us uh i was just about two feet away maybe standing up trying to get to him my friend and his girlfriend were on the bed sitting down and it mocked me and still is with me you know that type of thing and you know the trauma of it for time afterwards um loud noises big flashes that type of thing you know it's a traumatic thing getting through that um i grew up i grew up i am in brooklyn new york and i've had guns pointed at me in a playful manner and in a i will kill you manner i still have a somewhat fair view of this issue i think even though i come from that where I've had issues where someone, you know, would pull a gun just to show people and I get upset, like, look, you gotta treat this, you know, you don't fuck around. And so that issue I do have, uh, you know, being a jerk off about it, but ultimately things are coming to a head and reevaluating things. Like, where do you stand these days when I look at the news and stuff like that? Being a little bit more of a critical thinker, as I like to call myself, I do look at the issue from multiple angles, and maybe that'll be just what this podcast is, because this political fight of um, stricter gun laws, you can't take our guns away, ban all weapons, like, uh, this issue is just a political circus, and it will always be. So, first off, if you're a blue no matter who, like, I don't give a fuck. Uh, third party stuff. In my opinion, you don't have the right logic or arguments that are going to convince me. Fine, you, you believe what you believe. But I'm not just Democrat fucking all the way, no matter what. I, I don't like that fucking mentality. It just bothers the shit out of me. But, so there are facts about things, right, in the political arena. I just think that there's a issue that needs to be addressed. We can look at statistics, real statistics. We can look around the world. There are mental health issues all around. And yes, it is partly a mental health issue, but that's a given. That's just the, that's everywhere. But we do have places enacting stricter gun laws. And it is preventing them or has, you know, miraculously caught a lucky streak, whatever, however your view is of it, they, it is working. So for someone like me living in a city, Brooklyn, I do understand the nature of where you are and what's around you and what you deem as personal safety and recreation, um, this right thing. And it's, you know, I don't want, that's why I don't want to get too deep into the weeds because I don't give a fuck about your stupid constitutional bullshit that you lie about. Like what it says about a militia, you leave everything out, but you're right to bear arms. You know what? Fuck off. 
first off. I love the idea of the country I live in, the United States, basically experimenting and saying, look, everything, you can do everything. It's, you have to all freedoms until you fuck up, right? And then you have to make a fucking law because you're assholes out there. Freedom of speech, okay, but you can't yell fire in a movie theater. So you get that train of thought, and okay, but I'm still fine with that. Even with my personal history, I'm not against people holding concealed weapons and having arms on them, protecting their houses and you know, uh, rural areas, shotguns and whatever. Um, bow and arrows, I used to love going to my friend's house and totally confident, not one iota of fear, even after what happened to my friend, because he had shotguns around and he had wild animals and fucking bears and whatever. You know, I get it. And I think we'll get closer to the mark here saying that it's assault weapons and there's bump stock stuff and then I can get into it. But I understand both sides and to me, I don't care how steadfast you are on your opinion and your view and your belief because once I see a vet, a Republican say, enough's enough, let's get to this, your arguments kind of get washed out because there is a precedent for these things and we agree on certain things. But again, it's this political dance of back and forth bullshit and just like other things with uh, Medicare for All and stuff, it's just bullshit. I'm so sick of it. So I just want to get to the feelings of, hey, look, you have to make stricter gun laws. Take it in baby steps if you have to, but you do not, you do not like give in. We have a president Biden who, to get elected, said he would enact stricter gun laws, do all these things, and it's fact. And then recently saying, oh, I'm the president, but, you know, I can't dictate these things. You're a fucking asshole. Okay, I don't give a fuck if you're a Democrat. You're a fucking idiot, and you're a fucking lowlife in your whole history of fucking politics. So I don't give a fuck that you're a lesser of two evils, or your parties and whatever. Get rid of this fucking cunt, Nancy Pelosi, change everything, and then maybe I'll fucking, you know, rethink things. But I just look at it as, look. Some arguments are sound. What about coconuts? How many coconuts do people kill a year? And a fucking screwdriver and a scissors. Right? But we kind of have a, a sense of, look, how many people can this guy kill with scissors before we tackle him? Or, you know, all right, so coconuts do kill people. You can talk about car accidents and children getting killed in car accidents. But then you might have to narrow down, is it vehicular homicide? Is someone using the car as a weapon? And... Is it that our state of mind while driving is always to be hyperactive, to appreciate the laws of the road and to maintain, you know, order and we don't fucking crash into each other? So is that frame of mind with guns also? Look, look, I, I want a gun to protect my family. Okay, I have, a, I have a, a handgun here, upstairs, locked my thing. I have one downstairs and I have a shotgun in the garage. Right, fine. But we're now getting into the territory of why do we need assault weapons? And it's this fucking mindset of bullshit, fanatics, and, bull, you know, just insanity. So, yes, you want to have this little thing where they play the game where, oh, we, we make a background checks, but it's not mandatory. It's not a, a, a 50 state, U.S. statewide mandatory thing. And, you you can be 18 in some states and, you know, oh, shit, you know, I could buy a gum before I could buy a fucking, you know, beer. This is all arguments that are just filtering out there that aren't inherently wrong. Yes, I should be able to hold, protect myself, regardless of a fucking constitution bullshit. This is the world we live in. I get it. But stop the fucking knee-jerk reaction of you can't take my guns away, but blah, 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 blah. It's just fucking nonsense. Yes, we want stricter. We want to make sure you are not 18 years old and buying a Uzi or a fucking assault weapon. But I bet you're still going to be able to go buy your shotgun and go hunting with your father with your deer rifle and whatever. And even carry a personal fucking handgun on you in case whatever. This is all these arguments get draw, drawn out and, you know... Uh, far left and far right talking points and even centrist nonsense it's just a political fucking joke that it's not happening here you can look at the statistics this is not fucking 
rocket science, if you want to even consider rocket science being fucking up there. You know, how many adults in the U.S. live in a household with a gun, right? We got all these things that you, facts about um, what is going on here. And we can compare that and do the math and the, the, the whatever, whatever, and know, okay, well, yeah, we have a higher population of this and that. And then, um, person, why you're owning a gun to begin with, even your political uh, affiliations, like, we, we, we got the numbers, like, we know what's going on. And what we need is stricter gun laws right now. No ban, like, there's no take coming to take your guns away. Stop the fucking bullshit. And another thing, you're not stopping the government with your fucking Uzis and your submachine guns and your military fucking assault rifles. Are you out of your mind? Like, why aren't there fucking people arrested with at the scene of a crime with bazookas and fucking uh, attack helicopters and fucking tanks? Because they can't get them. <laughs> you get it? We, you know, there's this logic here. It's just common sense, right? Common sense gun laws. And then it's blown up and drawn out where people's little arguments make sense and, you know, there's no banter back and forth for compromise when these fucking idiots are just fucking morons in charge. So I don't see nothing being impactful until a major third-party thing breaks the system up in the United States. It's just bullshit. You know, 13 people are killed in Ireland, whatever fucking country it is, boom, they enact laws, and you can look at the data. What has changed? Repeatedly. We can compare population and health, mental health, whatever. It's just starting to look like bullshit. I get it. I know cars kill people. Kids get killed in accidents all the time. I know that people die from coconuts falling. Like, I know how these arguments can seem, you know, mundane to people, and guns aren't a big deal. Like, when you look at the bigger picture, right? Like, fine, but guns stop becoming the number one killer. You know, it's just ridiculous. And then you hear these things like, oh, there's, what is that word? There's partisan agreement, right? Both sides agree on certain things. You know what? Where's the fucking, where, where's the, uh, where's the fucking laws? Like, why are you sitting on things for a year or two here? Stop it. These things happen. Boom. Baby steps. Take the next step. Go, look, we're trying, but this isn't working. Oh, mental health issue. You know what? Fuck off. Okay? It's everywhere. Mental health is everywhere. But we have that. We know what's going on. Right now, we are worried about access to high-grade military assault weapons with high rounds and all that. Just start there. That doesn't mean we have to come to people's houses and take them away. You don't even have to do, the, like some people want every gun that's purchased should be traced. Like, fine, you want to say, no, this is my personal right? Okay, but you know what? You can do that with a handgun and a shotgun. Well, you're not doing that with an AR, whatever. We need to know where these weapons are. And I understand, like I said, the rural type city thing. You know, I'm in a park city, you know, I, I call the police, they'll probably be here real quick, but if that's not the case, you know, what, I, what do I have in my house? I don't think I need a fucking AR or whatever. And if that time ever comes and there's some craziness that happens, sure, there'll be some hindsight as 2020 thing. But look at where we are, look at the numbers. This is not just bringing up what's possible. It's what's probable. Anything is possible. Aliens from another planet can come invade us. And we'll be fucked because we didn't all have fucking AR-15s and fucking assault rifles? Fine. Let's all give everybody tanks. Let's have every family gets a fucking uh, attack helicopter. And access to a fucking uh, missile launching bay. Like, we can play this. We can go, take use of intuition and go in different directions and make it ridiculous in this direction. Make it ridiculous in that direction. And kind of see the flaws in what we're trying to do. Is it too late for taking people's guns away? Yeah, in America it is. You're not get taking people's weapons away. But it's not too late to enact these fucking gun laws. Like, stop it. Oh, you take my gun away. No, I don't give a fuck. I want to know now. Look, you can say media has blown this up fine. We're more aware now. We have access at every time to our phones. And there's just reports from everywhere. 
So yeah, it, it's it's like I said, you want more in the mainstream. But I don't like these arguments that build up with these, you know, screwdrivers and scissors, and they make some sense in a way, but not in reality that we're in here. We should not be training kids to fucking prepare for attacks at their school and how to wear their backpack. This is fucking nuts. Stop it. Arming teachers, police officers, bullshit. This fucking Texas place, they fucking handcuffed the mother. She got out of the handcuffs, went and go save the kids. Well, they did nothing. And they, there's an investigation into it. Like I said, I'm not going to get too deep into all these fucking things. But your bullshit, dumb fucking arguments are just pathetic. I get it. We know what's going on. You know, there's a difference, right? We want this mindset of, um, you know, what is my personal safety? Uh, you know, what laws do I have to go through? What procedures that would make, is it going to make it harder for me? And okay, fine. Um, I I just see this frustration in this issue is now look we don't want to have to have our children in schools worrying about people coming in with guns and if it right now it is stricter gun laws that's what it is that's what it's going to have to be it's not take your guns away it's holy shit we know that these weapons with these high rounds and stuff are just doing massive damage you're never going to be able to stop somebody from getting access to a screwdriver and running into a school and trying to do damage. right? But we can understand the fucking where that goes. We, we know what's going to happen there. This is bullshit. When you find the people in their rooms with fucking 26 weapons and just stop it. it if it is a give and take, it has to go in the other direction now and then maybe you'll go back, your NRA fucking nonsense i've had a personal tragedy in my life having to do with guns and again i'm not against it i think it's fucking you know it's useful and it could be helpful and there are people who are very you know adult with their fucking weapons that don't have mental health issues fine but we know what's going on with these high assault weapons whatever you want to call them military grade Bullshit, this right to bear arms, but it's a regulated militia, you know, just enough, okay? Because you're fucking idiots. It just doesn't work anymore. And you, these, it doesn't help the situation. All right, so let's say, whatever side you're on, you go, okay, look, we have to do something. All right, so one side says, okay, you know what, let's arm the... Teachers and eight police officers per whatever the number is. Let's put them. Let's do it. Right. Where is this evidence and the numbers? Right. We have these things like there was a armed guard at this place. There were police officers on the scene of this and that. Don't you see? It's a little too late because the person has an assault rifle, not a fucking knife. Not a screwdriver, not a pair of scissors, not even a handgun, which now you can get massive mags, right? And you could put, you know, a big, huge thing you can get, and it could shoot real. Like, no, we're not even talking about that. So let's take it in steps and say, look, assault, whatever you rifles you want to call, sorry, you jerk offs ruined it. You ruined it. Just like I said about the experiment of America, one of the great things was all freedoms are go. Are a go. All right, well, you know what? Now we have to fucking look at this because you're fucking children. You're like idiots. So now let's make laws and let's do it now. Enough. Get some people, some peace of mind. We know a majority of these things. Like, And again, this is like issues where you're looking at debates online when it went back to the kneeling and Black Lives Matter. People are fucking biased machines. They're just intuition and how I feel. There's no real in-depth uh, exploration and research. And if it is, you have to make sure you do it right because most of the time your research is biased. This is not, you know, a simple thing in that way. But I think families at home want this simple answer. P 
people around the country and the United States want this tackle. And if it's a mistake in that we put all this effort into banning assault rifles and now people are using bazookas or whatever the fuck, fine. But you have to have action. And maybe it's that bullshit, like I said, blue no matter who, Republican, Donald Trump, fucking shit stain that's still on them and, you know, the fucking idiots we got and, and whatever. And it's just too opposed, but they're all funded by the same fucking, this whole money situation. It never is going to end. And I don't think, you know, maybe Bernie Sanders had a chance when he could have rode high on a third party and really caused them both to come to the table, right? Because the way it is now, boo, no matter who, oh, no, 55%, 45%, blah, blah, blah. no. Get a fucking third party that takes 15% from both fucking sides. And then there, you have to work on that and say, no, 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 now this is what we're doing. And I don't really see the problem with these things, but you'll have stupid arguments about it and debates. I don't want to take guns away from people. I don't even want to make this law put a backdoor thing where, oh, whoever has own ones right now, we're coming for it. No, I don't even want that. No. All I want right now is make it harder to get your hands on these weapons. And increase background checks, whatever we have to do. That, <clears throat> right now, we can do that everywhere. Mandated, whatever the fuck you got to do. And then work with it backwards and forwards. And win these uh, things. You can't cower. You can't have a president who... Just because, you know, thoughts and prayers. You know what? Fuck off. Th thoughts and prayers are fucking garbage. And we're so different. We're such a... We're so different as people. Like, we all have thumbprints. That we're, but we're none of the same. We're all people in these with our minds living within. There are politicians I admire. and But then I think, you're so fucking dumb. You got Tulsi Gabbard, who I probably would have voted for president. And she's on this fucking god shit nonsense where to me religion should just go away and the world would be better but you know i still admire some of her political views in some aspects and people want to call her center fake laugh she's really i don't give a fuck when i look at things i want arguments and you know what is that argument addressing so let's say abortion and medicare for all and you know wars and stuff not just a blanket, oh, they're blue, they're, they're, they're Democrats, whatever. So, you're perpetrating this, this whole, oh, you know, a vote for this, a vote for that. No, you just fucking, you just fucking, hob, you're just stopping what makes America great, right? It just doesn't work. You're, I don't like where it goes. But let's put all that aside and say, yeah, none of us want our kids fucking whatever, but guess what? They're all politicians who pose with fucking guns and shoot them with bacon on them and try to fucking cook bacon. Like, you're fucking assholes. And then you're going to fucking meetings. So there is that thing, too. I do understand, like, the numbers about who owns guns and how many are Democrats and what do Democrats vote for. <clears throat> what, do you want to go look at all the sites? But you don't give a fuck. So that's why it's not even worth it, you know, to have three websites open with some actual facts because it doesn't work so if your feeling here is um somewhat you're feeling unease and this cognitive dissonance in, a, in that way it just say okay we don't want children harmed we want them safe and then when you hear these idiots break that conversation into these arguments that are fucking ridiculous and they're on your side no they're not on your side Right? If you turn and say, oh, you know, oh, we both agree. We don't, we don't, okay, so let's make it harder to go. No, 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 because you can't take my guns away. No, they're not saying they want to take the guns away. They want to make it harder right now. People, are, So you can't be 18, you have to be 21 now. And the background checks are going to be mandatory. And everything. No, 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 no. All right, you better, you can't. You have to have some, you know, leeway and, calm, you know, just work together. This is not that hard. Other places have done this. Let's stop it. We've got 
Lots of data. We've had guns for a while now. Right? We've had landmines and explosives and devices. Right? This is not new to us in that sense. But we have this idea of guns and rights and protect, and then it's blown up and made into this circus and distractions and fucking feelings. It just stop. We're talking about gun violence. We're talking about gun control. You want to get into the ethnicity of it and blacks, Hispanics, American, white people, whatever, GOP, government, political, Democrats, how many own guns? What do they vote on? How do they view the laws? Rural areas uh, favor more restrictive, whatever. Uh, they want expansive gun access, right? So I get it. But I'm more worried about the fucking per person in the rural area who has fucking two schools near him, right? And we're not worried about his shotgun and his pitchfork and his row and his tractor, which he can drive through a building, right? Like, think of what you, the damage you could do in a car, right? We could also say that, you know, I, as, as I was grew up and started driving and stuff, I was also always wondered, why are cars able to go 180 miles an hour? Like, what the fuck's the purpose of that? I'm in Brooklyn, New York, and I go camping. Okay, so I've, you know, I've been around, but I don't, why do I need to go 220 miles an hour? Oh, so let's make a law, right? You know, speed limit areas. Right? But you have a fucking two-ton vehicle that goes zero to 60. It's like, I get these arguments like, I know how easy it is for me to grab a fucking sword I have or something and just cause damage to people. But I think people need to mix up their thinking and use these intuition pumps, as they're called, uh, Dan Dennett maybe, whatever, and start thinking of in using these ideas and bringing them to ridiculous ends. Like, oh, what happens if... Uh, what happens if someone invented a device that can hit a button and all the guns disappear in the world, right? I mean, like, what happens? Okay, all the guns in America disappear and then, quote-unquote, Russia or China comes in and fades us, right? I mean, like, I get it. You, you, you could do that, right? But this isn't like a movie. This isn't, you know, Red Dawn and the fucking the Wolverines. And this is kids and families are terrified you, know, you send your kid to school it's sickening it makes you cry it, you know but in the end we have government and we have people making laws so ultimately are we responsible like there was this thing when i grew up when getting into my 20s going to my local um quote-unquote government thing and seeing your district guy and putting your views about what homeless and how the neighborhood was and you know Back in the day, it was all the heavy metal music bullshit. And you felt like, you know, some interaction and whatever. But it somewhere it fucking it evaporates. That guy goes somewhere and he says to somebody. And this is fucking, as it goes up, it just becomes this fucking mess. And it's disgusting. So, fuck Democrats. Fuck the Republicans. Fuck you all. Because I'm going to take everything on an issue-by-issue -issue basis. And you all suck. You're all shitty fucking bullshit politicians. And I kind of agree with the, 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 the republic idea where you can't have a majority of fucking morons dictate everything, right? Because all you need is an, an easy majority or something, and then the stupidest fucking laws are coming out, as we are seeing now with the stupid abortion nonsense, and Lydia's still born and she's getting brought to court. You know, you fucking twat. You're fucking assholes. You're just fucking muddy in the water here. Take your fucking stupid beliefs and your religious bullshit. Keep it to yourself. You don't sign laws. I did that fucking podcast already. Um, this is gun violence. This is gun control. It's what we want, right? We're not looking for the guy to invent the button that makes all our weapons disappear and deteriorate and evaporate. No. Let's start with these fucking super weapons, military, whatever, and fuck your freedoms in that way. So. Eat it. You're fucked up. You're all fucking bullshit. You're all to blame, right, I guess? You know? Fine. I can see that logic being put, you know, 
in front of me as other countries laugh at us. And, well, they don't laugh. They fucking are sad. They're all fucking terrified at what the fuck America really is, right? At its heart. I still, to this day, think I live in one of the greatest places in this civilized world. The freedoms here are still amazing. I still think in the long run, there's so much hope and beauty to be had in the future of this world. Maybe not for me in my lifetime, but I, 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 have, I have that in me. But this is a problem. We should, ad- we should address and we should do it very rationally and adult-like. And it should be give and take back and forth and you should have it done. But what, what I feel is, again, feel, is that there's a Republican GOP, the, the Democrats, and that feeling just goes down the line. This is why we have blues no matter who. And it's a Republican, oh, um, well, can I, I can't be a Republican and um, be against banning a boy. Like, yes, you could address the issues and come out and say that enough's enough. Let's just do this. All right, we're raising the thing. You have to be 21. Wah! Sorry, wah! You know, we have so much neurological and psychology data that suggests that the human brain, you're not really an adult until you're like 20 fucking 9 or some bullshit. And these studies are ongoing, right? So yeah, it's okay to say you can't own a fucking high-impact 700-round fucking whatever the fuck you're doing weapon. But we'll still give you a shotgun. Right? We'll still have you able to have a fucking legit carry permit. Like, stop the fucking bullshit. We understand. Like I said, I've had friends. I'm totally comfortable and felt loved and still do to this day to go somewhere that they live and go camping and visit them and stuff and know that they have shotguns and weapons around. It doesn't, you know, impact me. But let's be honest. The second he says I have fucking four AR-15s and I go, why? And I start hearing the bullshit about, you know, government coming to take my shit and stuff, you're fucking lost already. Okay? you fucking drones and bombs and peer... Just stop it. Just stop. You're stopping. You're already lost. That's, a, that's what they don't understand. No one understands. We've already lost. This circus we have is a political um, division, whatever the fuck you want to call it, shit that's going on. That's it. <laughs> you, it's already over. So it has to be changed. It's going to take time. It's going to take work. It could happen. But not if we all just sit here in our feels and our bullshits. It's just not going to work. All right? So stop the bullshit arguments. Yes, something needs to be done about gun control. Quickly. Now. And it has to be done in a way that is common sense like and then progress. It's better than doing nothing right now. And having bullshit arguments that people don't even know about. So, you know, personal protection is the top reason why going on, gun owners say they own a firearm. That's fine, right? All right. Can I understand that uh, your shotgun and four handguns in the house is, is, is not enough? What do, you, what do you need the automatic weapons for? Like, okay, I like to shoot. You know what? Fine. Because I'm not even against that. I'm not like against banning the fucking weapon. You know, you go through the background check, you do the right things, strict those things and this, and yeah, you can enjoy going to the range and fucking un- or on your estate, on your property, shooting the fucking thing like a fucking hundred rounds a minute, and you get a fine, it's your joy. I don't think that's what they're looking to do. And I think the argument gets pulled back and forth from the political parties to make you trigger you and react that way. Let's get it done and work with the mistakes we make, just like we do in human nature as we evolved into this society. But we got to have action. We can't sit here no more. I think that's the major thing. And these dumb arguments people put up are just triggering other fucking morons. It's just, you just have this 
circus. It's happening every part, not just gun control. It's abortion and rights and voter fraud and all this fucking nonsense that's spinning out of control. Because we're not fucking there yet, you fucking silly goose. It's just, stop it. We're trying our best. No, I don't agree. And that's the problem. I need to see progress. I think people need to see progress. We could see the results happening and be given hope and given trust. But it has to start now. And if the Republicans have any idea of capturing the next presidential election, what is going on in their minds, right? Is it, let's flame this war? Well, let's prop up a guy who's going to enact these laws and have a backdoor deal with the NRA. Like, whatever the fuck bullshit you're going to do. It's got to be done. And I think we have a problem. It, it's, it's, it's almost um, insincere sometimes when I hear some of these arguments like, I don't have children or anything, but I don't, you know, tears come from my eyes when I see these things. I, I'm just a very empathic person, or I put, I could, it's easily or just involuntarily, I put myself in that position, and I'm crushed. Uh, like I said, I've had a personal experience with a handgun. My friend got access to it. I've been involved in that type of thing, and to that extent. And I don't begrudge my friends, and like I said, I feel safe with them and out there. Even if I went to other people's houses who they trusted, because, you know, I knew what the situation was and understanding it. But I don't know how I would feel if the situation was changed in the context. Oh, I've got six um, assault weapons now. Why? Uh, you know, oh, I like shooting them. This one does this. This one does that. Fine, I guess. But are you over 21? Like, can we get, can I get that? Can, can you, can your 18 year old little brother wait another three years to drink a beer and shoot his fucking assault rifle? Again, I'm a fucking schmuck from Brooklyn, New York, who happens to just dabble in some nonsense and understand some psychological things and critical thinking things. And I find it ridiculous that we still live in a world that fucking has religion and it's all bullshit, and there's fucking people starving in the world, and they're homeless people. It's fucking mind-boggling. I'm sorry. That's how it feels when you're an adult, and you have some critical thinking skills, and you don't rely on a fucking higher power. You look at this and go, what the fuck is going on? Feed these fucking people. Put these people in homes. These are fellow humans. Regardless of some fucking Eden or whatever. Let's protect our children. Let's make sensible gun laws. Let's get to it. Come on. That's it. Uh, I don't know how much more I could say. I mean, like I said, we can go another two hours as I go through this fucking litany of data. Right? Well, what is it going to show? Now, the 215,000 study? The mass shooters? Like, global analysis of exceptionally American problem. Like, there's just so much here that I think is just exploited and blown up and pushed and pulled in different directions, extremes. You know, I had a friend um, during this uh, thing a little while ago online, and it was about the police, and you better listen to the police, right? And they were like, yeah, look, you know, when a police tells you to put your hands up, you know, whatever, do what they say to do, and you won't get shot. That type of mentality, which is bullshit. So I said, oh, so when they come for your guns, when the police come for your guns and say, hand them over, you're going to be okay with it. You see the fucking floor in that logic there with some of these people? No, 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 no way, no. They're not taking my gun. No, no. They said to listen to the police, right? So we made laws, whatever, and the police are following the law now. They're coming to take your... And again, I'm not talking about coming. I'm just making a, a you know, a, you know, some thought experiments here that let you open your mind and see things from different angles. Do it. Put the time in if it matters to you. But don't 
do your Facebook fucking Twitter bullshit and think that you're a smart and your feelings mean anything and whatever research you did went anywhere, unless you're coming from a common sense point of view now, what is, is, and we have to deal with it. So, in a nutshell, I'm for stricter gun laws, stricter you know, background checks, the whole nine. If you want to ban assault, these certain category of weapons, fine. I, I, I just think that it needs to be done in certain stages and in a way that assures the people who have the right to fucking have them, fine, that this is not some political fucking agenda thing because you've got enough people out there who think the Democrats are being invaded and possessed by demons from Satan. Like, holy shit. Get a fucking grip. We all need to address this problem, fine. Let's just get it done. Let's see some progress, some rapid response to this. And I think it would alleviate a lot of problems. Yes, we live in a world where coconuts fall on people and kill people. Cars get into accidents and kill people. You know, we just don't stop driving. We don't make looks. I get the logic, but here we are in a, in, a, in a state of affairs that is obviously out of control. We have a strategy. We've known about the strategy. Maybe we need to refine it, make it better, make it more um, clear to people what's going on. You know, no, we're not coming for your guns at your house. Like, we don't care, right? We're just making it, you have to be 21 to buy this sort of weapon and stricter background checks, and we're starting from there, right? And, you know, these things happen. You got Waco and all these cult things and weapons. We have a history of this, and I think other countries have done some things that work, and let's look at it. Let's get world leaders together in that sense and in real smart people who care. Not just about politics, but humans in general, right? I mean, they'll go through all this trouble to protect the fucking fetus uh, and regulate women's vaginas. I mean, right? I mean, let's do you really give a shit once the kid's older? No, right? Because this is the same fucking thing in a way, and it needs to be changed. It needs to be addressed in a different way, looked at by the common person from different perspectives, and... Understand we have a problem that needs to be addressed, and it's not as simple as, hey, let's, you know, cars kill people. Yeah, we, I, we know that, right? We get it. So we try to make things safer and whatever. Not being done right. There's this political agenda, NRA, and politics, and guns, and lobbies, and I don't, that stuff is bullshit because it doesn't matter, right? Because w- what we see are the results of the people we determined to run our stuff this is why we're a republic and you know we don't get every fucking jack off scratching his ass picking his nose and you know majority in charge of things we have we're supposed to have capable people who understand the dynamics of social relations and you know social contracts that we have as a species uh, living in america regardless of the world you know, like, we still fucking talk to people, and, you know, we're buddy-buddy with Israel, we're occupying power. we got fucking slave owner places we give money to, we fucking give money to people who bomb 9-11, like, none of that matters to most people, right? I mean, can we give them the fucking safety of their children going to fucking school? It's, it's is it really that difficult? And fuck the president and all that bullshit that it, it, he said about not being able to do things when his pledge to get in was strict the gun laws and all that stuff. And now he can't dictate stuff. I just find it bullshit. And it should be called out. Just like it should be called out for everything. Regardless of the political affiliation. I guess I'll end that. End this here with that. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, my heart goes out to people. Who, uh, you know, have to deal with this tragedy. How many lives are upended? And this argument can and should be applied to everything. We should never let it be okay for a certain amount of kids to die in car accidents every year. 
right? We, we should never have this be okay with how many people die from gun violence, regardless if they're children or not. We should never be okay with how many coconuts fall on people's heads and kill them. Like, get off your ass, humanity. Get rid of this fucking ingrained belief that there's something greater beyond this bullshit and deal with what is. We've got great minds, real people who love humanity, love everybody, and they want to make it better. We've got examples around the world you can use and take a little bit of this and that maybe and you have to come to the table and work this out my love goes out to everybody hope you're doing well till next time take care